back guys, my name is Lynn. I hope you all are having a wonderful day. Today, I'm excited because I'm bringing you my kitchen organization video, finally. It took a little bit, you guys, I'll admit, and if you guys were waiting on it, I'm sorry. <laughs> I had some delays, but I'm here now and I'm excited to share it with you. If you are not familiar with what I'm talking about, I am doing a simple kitchen organization series. I have already shown my pantry in one video and also my refrigerator in another one. So make sure you go check out those videos if you wanna see uh, what I'm talking about. I'm not really gonna go into detail in this video because it's already gonna be pretty long. So I'm gonna try and keep the intro short and sweet. If you're new here, I'd love to have you subscribe. We have lived here for about four months and we're just kind of considering it phase one. I did a kitchen makeover video, so make sure you go check that one out if you uh, care to. The other thing I want to tell you is I'm doing a giveaway with about six other ladies on my Instagram and we're giving away a $350 worth of Target gift cards to one of you guys and it is open until May 10th um, so I will link all of the ladies Instagrams down below in the description box so make sure you go check them out follow them and enter the giveaway we're excited to do this so I hope you go check that out once you're done watching the video anyway let's just get into the video okay so we added this door here and this is the pantry that goes beside our cabinets and it's in our kitchen but this is just kind of a brief overview of what it looks like and if you want more details on it go check out that video I will have it linked below but I love it, it is simple, it's organized, and it works very well for our family. All right, so here in the corner I have my Keurig, my faithful Keurig that has been with me for, I don't know how long, five years or more? <laughs> I'm, I'm very thankful for it. Uh, but I have a couple of other pieces of decor slash uh, coffee stuff beside it, just to add a little bit of interest. I don't like a ton of stuff on my countertops, but in any case, this, area here above the Keurig is my tea and coffee station. On the top shelf I have like water bottles and such. I just keep them in some of these copper bins and these I had gotten at Walmart. There is a coffee grinder and my French press which is at the top of the shelf and then I have some syrups, some drink mixes, lemonade, you name it. That's what I have in this one. And once again, I'm trying to stay with the copper theme. You will see a lot of copper in my kitchen because I really love it. But in the second shelf, I have uh, tea, I have straws, I have some other things that just go along with drinks and such. And then I have two jars with coffee and the loose tea leaves that I keep right here in like some glass jars. So this works out well. I don't use a ton of regular coffee. I use my K-cups most of the time. But sometimes I'll use my, you know, my regular coffee maker, especially if we have company and stuff. And then I just have my white cups that I also use if we have company. And they came with the set I had bought for our wedding. So on the bottom shelf, I have just like regular coffee mugs and also my um, thyroid medication that I take every morning. So I just keep it right here so I know, you know, I don't forget to take it. So that's why I keep that there. Then I have some regular coffee that someone gave me and also I have our K-cups in this one. I used to keep them in one of those spinny things on the counter, but I don't anymore. Just decided to put them away, less clutter and things to look at on the countertop and this is working fine for now. Above the microwave, I have our extra coffee maker. I have a tin with microwave popcorn. This is just a Grove Collaborative Caddy. And I also have our regular popcorn popper up there. Okay, so this area here is where I have my spices and some things like that. Now, let me say this. I have been debating about redoing my spices, but I haven't gotten to it because it would mean buying some new uh, little canisters and different things like that. And I have, I think I've used this turntable since we've been married and that's going on eight years and it works fine it's worked fine um, sometimes it's a little unhandy if I have to reach in try to find something but turntables are like one of my top favorite things to organize with uh, as you can see here I have just a simple round one that works very well for things that you can't reach maybe in high spaces or whatever and you see this quite a bit of different places in my home but I am thinking about doing something different, so we'll see. 
but I do have spices and I have toothpicks and also I have some uh, like seasoning mixes and stuff and then I have my oils and vinegars and spray over here and also on the door <laughs> some of you guys have been telling me I should put it on the door my pot holders and I decided to try it and I had done that in someone else's kitchen so I was very well accustomed with it as far as doing it but I just had thought I might not like it but I actually I don't mind it and it's working out great so if you're low on space you can do that yourself just use a little command hook so there's no drilling or you know anything then on the top shelf I have a container with chocolates and also on the other side I have cookbooks and that's just easy for me to pull down if I need it so that works well in the drawer underneath the Keurig I have a lot of different utensils I have um, just different dividers I these containers right here I got from Dollar Tree and this one was something that came with another um, silverware container that I used to use so I just have them divided up into like spoons and then sort of divided it up into the different categories um, these here are kind of random but you know that's just kind of how it is and it's been working great I put some sticky tack on the bottom of these so they don't slide around but these are some of my favorite things to use from Dollar Tree they're very sturdy, they're only a dollar, and these things are really big. They also have some smaller ones and then some rectangle sized ones. So in the bottom, they had these two pull out, actually, well yeah, they're two pull outs and then they have like four of the things to pull out. I, I don't know how I feel about them. They're okay, but in all honesty, some of my things don't really fit in it very well. However, it's really nice to be able to pull it out and be able to reach it. I didn't used to have that very much, uh, so this is very nice if I can do that. I keep a lot of my different pans and stuff in here. So underneath the oven, I have my big frying pan and two of my baking sheets. And then beside the oven, on the other side, I have more or less baking utensils. I've got like my measuring cups and spoons and stuff in here, and I have some cookie scoopers in this one. I've got spatulas, I have a whisk and like my beater things and then some more like pie spatulas and a couple of random items in the back. I do keep a lighter in here and also I have a uh, big bread knife. Okay, in these drawers there's another pull out thing and I keep our toaster here because we use it almost daily so it's just easy to pull out a plug in right up here on the countertop. And then I have um, an electric bread knife, which I probably could just get rid of because I rarely ever use, but it's just something that I've kept over the years because it is nice if you do need it. Um, but then I have my two saucepans over here, as well as a smaller frying pan, and then my little griddle or panini maker. I'm not sure what to call it. It's like a little grill. I picked it up at a yard sale. And on the back shelf, I have our blender. Our ninja blender I really like that thing and then our one of our crock pots on this shelf as well as some grilling utensils on the side so that's all I keep in there you'll see our fridge here I'm not gonna really go into that thing either because I do have a fridge organization so if you want to see a more in-depth look at the fridge you can go watch that video all right so moving over here to the other side this is where I keep our plates and cups and whatnot up in the far corner I keep glasses and things that I don't use much it's more just for you know special occasions and then like dessert plates on the top shelf because we don't use those a lot either so I have my Corel plates I also have some smaller bowls and stuff that I keep here these have lids and those I have in another place so I have the white bowls that go with my bigger plates over here and then I have cups on the bottom shelf as well as some more uh, ice cream or even cereal little bowls if you watched my thrift haul you remember these and I'm really loving them but anyway I have those there so I try to stick to kind of a neutral theme as you can see and I did line the bottoms of my countertops at least a couple of the shelves I lined with the marble contact paper because a lot of them are in very yucky shape they don't look nice so. right and in this cupboard I have different things like extra bowls my nicer plates or like nicer serving ware I don't have a lot of it honestly I don't 
Um, and so I just keep that in here. I don't really have a china cabinet or anything, so it definitely, you know, limits me to what I can get. Someday I'd love to have one. But I also have a couple of other random things like candles and scent warmers and some things like that. So in the drawer closest to the sink, I have dish rags, dish towels, and my apron. And underneath there, it's a little hard to see because I don't have good lighting in here right now. But I have another pullout here. All of these pullouts were here before we moved, so most of them are really handy actually. But I keep the boys plates and cups down here as well as like our Tupperware and some smaller things. Sometimes I'll put these in lunches and I have lids, that kind of thing. So I kind of have my Tupperware. I don't have a ton of it. Tupperware and then the boys things that they can reach themselves. They can get plates and cups and um, things like that. And in the very back I have a couple of extra pitchers and just, you know, things that I use to serve with. So I have most of my uh, pictures in the back there. So in this drawer, I have our silverware. These, this container right here came from Ross and then the rest of them are from Dollar Tree. They are the smaller ones. And so I just have our silverware. I have our little knives and some other extra serving spoons back there that we really never use, but I just kind of have them loose back there. And I was able to make room by emptying our junk drawer. I was able to put all of our um, baggies and plastic wraps and things like that in here, which makes me really happy. It's just a lot easier to be able to have it in a drawer. That's what I was used to uh, in Ohio as well. And so I'm really happy I can do that. You have an overflow that is down here. If I ever run out of stuff, I have like a backup of plastic wrap and I've got some more tin foil and some extra trash bags. So it's just on one of those uh, little things you can attach to the wall. So in the bottom, there is another pull out here and I keep our mixing bowls and strainer and then some measuring cups in that one. As well as I have some Tupperware containers for uh, cookies, bars, things like that. And then in the middle one, I put a basket in here so I can also pull it out if I need to, but I have a mixer and then some graters or choppers, um, mixer things, that kind of stuff. Um, and then in the back, very back is my Pampered Chef chopper. And then also I have our rolling pin down here, which I really never use. So anyways, just one of those things you kind of have on hand. And under the sink, this is not a space of beauty, you guys, but it is working. I did put some contact paper down. There are some things in the bottom that will not come out. They're rusted. Um, you can't really see it because I kind of covered it up, but used to be some type of pull out or something there. But I'm trying to make the best of it and I have our KitchenAid mixer there. I don't use that thing very frequently, so it works out well there. And I have a little container here with some extra cleaners and whatnot. And then this is one of my favorite organizing solutions. I've got one in my bathroom. It's just a turntable from Target. And I will try and link it below. I love it. It's just very handy. It's deep and I can put different things in here. And I have a little bubble up brush from Grove Collaborative down there. So uh, back in the back corner, I've got a container with grocery bags. If I need some, I just like to have them on hand. And then on the top shelf, I have some extra jars and freezer storage containers and some things like that in there. Just a couple of random extra pieces, but it is working out for right now. And I keep these cutting boards here kind of for aesthetic and also functional. I use this cutting board a lot. On top of the cupboard here, I have my copper pitcher where I keep wooden spoons and other a few other random spoons, a tongs, and then my salt and pepper shakers, my timer and stuff. And I just have this, have it on this um, plate. I think it's for a paper plate holder. You guys told me that, so I thrifted it. I also thrifted this one and this paper towel holder. So that is what I have on the countertops. Um, I'm trying to think of anything else. You may be asking, is this all she has in her kitchen? Is this all of the stuff she uses? Uh, it is not. I have one cabinet in my little under the stairs closet and I have a lot of my like big mixing bowls. I've got um, extra pans, 
things that I don't really use a whole lot but that did not fit in this kitchen. So I do have a little bit of extra storage in there which I'm really thankful for. And I'll go ahead and show you guys just a little bit of it, how it looks. So the kitchen is over here and then you come over here to this little closet here. I just opened the door. Hopefully you guys can see a little bit but this is the cabinet that I was talking about. There is definitely quite a bit of stuff in there, more than you think, but we have this little shelf here and I've got some cleaning products here as well as like some other, sometimes I have paper towels and stuff, but I have our mop bucket. I've got rags and also like some extra Swiffers and um, sponges and that kind of thing. And then there's a little water jug and I generally will put Nick's lunch and his water jug and stuff in here at night or when I'm, you know, over the weekend and stuff. So I've got my Swiffer and a lunch bag here. I have a couple of random things in here right now, you guys. So keeping it real. There's my vacuum and then there's my mop and my broom and stuff. So let me just show you what is in this cabinet. There is my other crock pot as well as some other pans and some bigger bowls strainers, bunt cake, or bunt pan. There are muffin tins in the back. There's my big pots, and there's like a skillet, some pie things. So I have really a lot of stuff in here, honestly. And so I'm very thankful for it. Um, but yeah, it's not stuff I use even on a weekly basis. So it works out well. Um, the closet may not be the prettiest, but it is functional. And I'm really thankful to have this right here. It's just very handy to have. I think that's finally it. I hope you all enjoyed today's video. I enjoyed sharing it with you. If you have any tips or suggestions or questions, let me know. And I will try and link as many things down below as I can. Some of this stuff is not really linkable. So if I happen to find something that's similar, maybe I'll do so. But um, yeah, I just enjoy a simple organization that is functional and, you know, also a little pretty, but it's definitely not the world's most Pinterest worthy kitchen, that's for sure, but that's okay. And I just enjoy sharing things and motivating you guys to make things better in your home or wherever you are at. All right, guys, make sure you go check out the giveaway if you are interested in it. And if you are new here, I'd love to have you stick around and join my channel. So that's it guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time, bye.